If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over the potential final promos we could be seeing for Madden 20. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking already. Ricky Premier's could be the last one. Now, guys, I know in past years, Ricky Premier's typically been the end all promo. Like, once that's it, that's it, they're done for the year. But. We still have two months of this game, and for the most part, we are missing quite a few promos. Not gonna lie, they did skip quite a few of them, and by quite a few, I mean like three to five promos that just were completely skipped over this year that we usually see here and there. Specifically, even one that we get every single year since like one of the first Madden Ultimate Team, besides 12, obviously, 13 and up. So I'm kind of surprised that we're missing some of these. So I'm gonna go over the final promos, what just you guys could expect. Or just you guys get a little hyped and see some things that could potentially still be coming. Because we do have two months. I find it hard to believe that they released the Ricky Premieres. So last year they released it, um, I believe July 1st. And the game came out July 25th. This year they released it June. Like around June 1st. Like the, the second, well, end of the first week of June. So like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And the game comes out August 25th. So the game went up a month and the last promo came out back a month. So that gave us almost a two to three month gap. Which seems kind of ridiculous to me. But guys... Before we get into this video and I go over the promos that we still could be seeing or the promos we are missing, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Guys, let me know what you think of these promos if you guys are excited for any of these and pretty much it. Smash the like button boys if you like any of these promos or you're excited for them. Hopefully, you know, we can only we can only hope that that will come out. But let's get into it. Let's go ahead and over to the mud screen, show you guys all the screenshots and show you guys all the stuff of the, all the promos that could potentially still be coming out. We got over here, so this is one promo that I haven't went over with you guys just yet, but for sure, I was excited to see a promo like this this year. Now, it kind of reminds me of the Blockbuster promo. We did get it last year, but we did not see it this year. And I believe it would have been coming out pretty soon. Had it been last year. So first one is the Program Stars. I don't know if you guys remember these. They were pretty much award award awarded cards for the, some of the best cards from each promo. Now, guys, tell me this isn't one of the coolest concepts, in my opinion. It gives you like nostalgia like you get so what's gonna be is you get a bunch of 99 overall cards of people who were once top cards in a promo so let's say we get a 99 bo jackson program star throw back to bo jackson's zero chill card that was absolutely ridiculous we get like there's just so many things i gotta think of patrick mahomes 99 overall much throw back to his much superstar card that was insane in the beginning of the year we get legend marcus allen throw back to the first week of legends where marcus allen was literally the goat so, like, I think that could be so cool. Look at this. Jack Tatum was a star released as a Super Bowl program. Remember Jack Tatum's card last year? Champ Bailey, the Ghost of Madden card. That was insane. Like, it just gives you so much nostalgia. I think this is such a cool idea. Zero chill, Leonard Fournette. Now, this is obviously last year. George Kittle was team of the year. Yes, his team of the year last year was absolutely crazy. But, like, you guys get the point. Like, that could be so cool for this year specifically. I really think that could be such a cool concept if they actually bring this out again. I think it's fun. I think it's unique. And for all you guys who still have cards like that from those promos that are on your team, you, there you get your upgrade you can power them all the way up and these cards were obviously really good george kittle 95 speed would be probably the best head right now there's just so much potential with this promo i really hope they do bring it back because it'd just be fun it'd be a nice way to end the year off now like i said typically after working premieres they're kind of done but maybe this year they're doing it reverse they're doing work premieres a little bit earlier but you know the weirdest part about all this right with quarantine and with us being stuck home more and the whole thing that's been going on i honestly thought like i understand they can't be in office to work as much as they used to but at the same time, I thought we'd get a little bit more stuff to keep us busy considering they were advertising stay and you know stay home and play, which didn't make sense because there wasn't much to stay home and play when they don't give us content. But it is what it is. But the fact that they delayed Madden a month, I really hope, really, we get something. I do not know how much longer you guys can stay on this. You guys specifically who just played this game, I don't know how much longer you can stay on this game considering we're not getting into August 25th. It's kind of upsetting. But moving on to the next promo, Player Spotlights. This one actually would have been out right around now. Like, we'd be nearing the end of it right now. So, I mean, but again, this year they've kind of flipped a few promos and switched them around. So, still possible. So, Player Spotlights, it looks like they were just rookie players who look like they showed promise in certain games. So, starting off with Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward was one of the few rookies to be selected to the Pro Bowl in 2018. He would look to improve on his 53 total tackles, 11 passes defended, and 3 interceptions from this season in 2019. Sonny Michelle. Michelle looked to build off of his fantastic postseason run in which he accumulated 336 rushing yards and six touchdowns with Tom Brady, with Tom Brady still playing. She had plenty of scoring opportunities near the goal line. De'Aaron Payne, I'm not going to read them all, but you guys get the point. These are super, super cool. Like, this would be so much fun for this year. Just give show off some rookies that had some promise. They know they have potential. 
I think this would be such a fun concept for the year, personally. Now, like, Kyler Murray would get a 99 card, and it'll be like, you know, he had this many stats on a struggling cards team, you know, they'll look to improve on his next year with D-Hop. There could be such a cool, I, these are just such cool concepts, and these will be so fun for the end of the year. Hey, as you guys can see, it did start a little bit earlier, because they started off with 98s, and they made their way up to 99. They started with 97s, actually? Oh, they went to, okay. So they started a little bit back, and they made their way up. Now, I think it'd be cool to see these again. I really do think it'll be, look, it'll be cool, but I don't know if they'll actually end up doing it, considering the timeline that they're looking like they're on right now. But you never know. They could surprise us. Will they surprise us? I mean, I, I don't know, but it would be pretty interesting. And then beyond that, guys, these are the two that I don't know if we'll get at all. And they haven't even hinted at them. Now, one that really upsets me is this positional heroes, guys. I know I've started it like a hundred times. We've gotten positional heroes really every year. Like when I started to Madden 13, my first ever Madden Ultimate team, positional heroes was lit. Like it was so much fun. We got a like 99 overall, four star Thomas Morse the punter. You guys, I don't even know if you've been playing long enough to know what stars are on a card, but they would have like Adrian Peterson, four stars. I don't know if you guys remember, we had 99 overalls by like October back during those Madden days. So literally they had to put stars on them to just differentiate how well of a 99 they were. So pretty much position here is not forever. I remember Blair Walsh, 99 overall, like four star. Jimmy Graham dunking over the go post, tight end positional hero on the New Orleans Saints. Guys, those are the fun times now. Positional heroes were such a staple in Madden Ultimate Team, and we have not received it yet. Now, I don't know what the deal is. And the worst part is that Mutt Leaks even tweeted out the leaked animations they have preset for it this year, which means that they did it and they got lazy and just scrapped it, which doesn't make sense to me. See, if they're making, if they, I know they make so much money, they probably don't care. But it doesn't cost anything for them to just drop this out there and let people spend money because they will spend money on it. They'll make their they'll make their bag regardless. But why not keep everyone busy during this time? Like I, I don't comprehend it. I know they're focusing on the new game, but I just I don't know. I don't know. It, it's hard to talk about here because like you never really know what's going on in the business end of things. I know there's always a business logic reason for everything, usually money. But in the most part, like, these cards are pretty awesome. And right now, you know how good these cards would be. And positional heroes can really clean up a lot of things. I feel like power up expansion was their cheat sheet way out of a lot of promos because they knew that a lot of cards hadn't gotten upgrades and they couldn't end the year like that because that would have been messed up. Everyone would have been freaking out that a lot of cards, they just dropped them and they never gave them their upgrades they deserved. So position, uh, power up expansion, I feel like they took a lot of cards that were going to get promo cards like positional heroes and like player spotlights and they just went ahead and they gave them 99 overall, shut people up. Yeah, but like a guy like Terrell Owens never got another card. Maybe he would have gotten a player spotlight, his Super Bowl Terrell Owens, that was really good. Or his Legend spotlight, but no, instead they gave him a power up expansion. There you go, he's done. Andrew Norwell, probably could have gotten a left guard positional hero. Maybe. Nope, they gave him a power up expansion. I feel like that very likely could have been reasoning behind why they did that. I mean, I can't speak from it because, again, I don't know, but that seems pretty likable. Let's head back over to the Madden screens, close the video out. All right, guys, so that pretty much is it for the bulk of this video. Like I said, I mean, don't get me wrong. We got a, we got a pretty decent amount of stuff this year. I can't complain too much. We got Ultimate Legends. We got Journey, Rick Vermeer, NFL Draft, Color Smash, Free Agency, Gauntlet, NFL Combine, Team Builder, Super Bowl, Team of the Year, NFL Playoff, Zero Chill, NFL 100, Harvest, Most Feared, Team of the Week, Legends, Exchange, Ultimate Trainers, Archive, Mutt Town was super fun, actually. Mutt Heroes, Mutt Superstars, Mutt Loyalty. But at the end of the day, guys, I do feel like we kind of got cheated just a little bit. I almost feel as though, yeah, we got a lot of things, but we they almost took out a bunch of stuff from the prior years. Because we used to get more random stuff back in back in the older Madden's. Like, we got all this. This is where the, these were the staples, right? And then they'll toss in some random promo out of the week, like motivators, some random limited time release that has nothing to do with any of the promos, just like mystery puzzle piece. But we didn't, guys, blitz events. We only got one blitz events all year, which doesn't make sense because... They like making that's a money maker so i have to believe that there's some legality to doing a blitz like with the whole gambling stuff that they believe like blitzing is literally gambling i don't know there has to be something behind where they wouldn't do another blitz we got like four or five of them last year and this year we got one and that was it they hinted at it like eight times and never dropped it very strange could not describe to you the reasoning behind all that guys i do want to open a pack before we get out of here i don't know for what i don't even know what you could even pull these days but i have a pack urge right now i'm gonna open up a rick Vermeer pack i don't know i feel like even if I lose coins here, I still technically make coins to get that Rick Vermeer player. So I'm not too concerned about this one. But let's see if we can just pull something real quick. Ooh, basically, 82 Patrick card. And that was fun. Okay, guys. So I did that for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. As always, if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know, guys, what's going on. What promo did I miss? Is there a promo that we haven't gotten yet that you guys are excited for? Second, what Rick Vermeers have you done? And third, how much are they costing you on average right about now? Because I do want to pick up some coins 
so I can finish up all my rookie premieres. I only got like three or four, I believe. And that's primarily because I'm broke in coins. And you can't really sell things too well right now. But I do want to pick them up. So let me know the average down below so I can go ahead and start picking some up for next year. Because I do definitely want to have most of those rookie premieres, if not all. But guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.